Oh. Ooh, this seems like a good one. It's just running away with it. Fish on. Oh, he's a little rookie. set up with my bait casting rod here um, so today's goal is to go bass fishing at summer hits it's about the best time to start catching them so I'm actually going to be using uh, one of my favorite uh, super flutes right one of my favorite uh, artificial baits is here and usually this, this spot here is kind of my old faithful usually I can get at least one fish they're nothing special you usually get one bass. Um, the weather's not ideal right now. It's, it's raining a little bit. Anyway, just a quick summary of how I do this. I will hook the top of this, get to about the bend of the hook, um, bring the hook end out, um, scoot this all the way to the top, slide it kind of all the way through. And uh, I like to keep it weedless, so I like to measure out where the bottom of the hook hits this um, this lure, put the needle about that way through and just let it poke a little bit on the top like that. I'm gonna pinch a tiny bit off that needle so when something comes and bites it, I can set the hook and I'll get it in its mouth. So let's hope that I can get a bass. Um, like I said, I have a bait caster right now, which is my trusty bait casting rod. I've caught lots of bass on this. Probably no more than eight pound test. Um, and right now I'm just somewhat jigging the uh, super fluke and basically giving this kind of like motion of getting this fluke up and letting it sort of hit bottom, not bottom, but hit the edges and yeah, just hoping something finds it enticing usually when it's paused and that's usually when you get most bites from uh, bass. But anyway, I grew up bass fishing so I feel really confident today confident doing this and uh we'll see what happens um i've been walleye fishing uh jigging trolling most of this season so uh, it's good to just be back in this usually no two days fishing are the same but i'll say it's more consistent with bass i'm just gonna kind of work the water work this bait a little bit and see what happens, like I said, most of my catches have been right on the edge of either the algae or um, the algae line or, you know, the grass. So the motion, it's, it's sort of like a jigging, kind of up and down motion. Um, and again, weedless is king here just because you just don't want to have weeds. So as you see, I'm constantly having to clean this thing. Uh, we'll see. We'll see where that first bass is. If any, right? Because that's fishing for you. See sort of the motion this lure makes when you when you when you kind of pull it, you dig and it kind of does that sort of like pauses. And so it's essentially the motion I'm going with as I try to catch some bass. Oh, 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 did you just see that? A bass slammed. Oh, top water must be great here. But a bass tried to, tried to attack the spook right at the edge of the water. That was awesome. I'm gonna try and actually bring the bait across the top, even though it's not, it's not a top water bait. And I'll just see what happened. That was all total accident. And you saw what happened. So that was actually pretty awesome. So bass are probably in all this, so I'm gonna work. Oh, you saw that, you saw that, right? They bass are hungry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam one on top, watch. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put it right where there's that little hole in the, uh, 
that little um, part where you can see some clear water in the uh, algae. And maybe I might just change the top water. You never know. That was not my plan. But uh, anyway, usually on the pause is where. So the bass are totally predator fish. They'll chase in anything. And you, you saw that? See, they're just missing it. They're just missing it. Uh, this is fun. This is fun. I'm gonna kill it on a top water maybe a little bit. I'm just um, just right at the edge of the water. Um, I mean the algae line. Not anything special, but uh, nonetheless a good catch. And uh, it's going back in the water. And uh, Let's resume this. So y'all saw I at least can catch some fish. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. Work the bait a little bit slower as I get to the edge. Oh, ooh, this seems like a good one. It's just running away with it, you see it? Ho, 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 he threw my bait, y'all. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is a nice little bass and my, uh, my spook is gone in the water. I think this is the biggest I've ever gotten here, which is awesome, guys. Awesome, I'm just gonna get to the edge of the water. Oh, there's a frog that might... Oh, shoot, you saw I lost him? Oh, he's right there. I was gonna let him go anyway, but... <sighs> that fish just dove out of the water. That was an incredible catch, guys. Proud of it, even though I didn't necessarily get to show y'all right away it's gone but uh, that's pretty epic pretty epic i never seen a fish jump that far out of the water just usually they're hit on that pause right so pause it right just it's the worst that could happen you don't catch anything that's happened plenty of times oh i'm just trying to make as much noise on top of the water and they'll they'll go after it i mean these fish have no no mercy and no fear. I mean, they have a big mouth because they can regurgitate and spit stuff out too. That's why setting the hook is really important with them. The moment you don't like it, they'll spit it back out. Just like, you know, a lot of fish trout do the same thing. So that's why setting the hook right on time is key. Look, there's our little friend, the, the muskrat. He might just end up pulling the line right under it. I hope it doesn't get spooked. Um, oh, he's probably gonna spook my fish. I wonder what he does. I'm gonna try and get him to find him. Oh, I scared him. That's, I purposely did that. Sorry, dude. Just a beautiful view. And that's what I, I, fishing is about this. It's not, it's not about catching all the time, you know? If you catch, it's a bonus. If you catch, it makes it memorable, it makes it more, but sometimes it's just relaxing. I think they call it fan casting, which is, you know, casting one direction. Just different diagonals in different directions, and that's how I'm gonna work the water. It's fan cast, and then move. And fan cast, and move. And that's how I cover the most water. I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and hopefully you learned something new. And, uh, Hopefully you can get out fishing and enjoy yourselves. Catch a fish or catch the feels, you know.